Sam here for another market update. For the month of September, the average dwelling values across the capital cities in Australia increased by 1%. Darwin was one of the three capital cities where the dwelling values declined. A further 2.5% decline was recorded for the month of September, with the total number of transactions down 19% over the past 12 months. We are still seeing a good number of buyers through our open for inspections, particularly first home buyers, because of the new incentives in implemented from the government at the start of September. At one of our auction properties in Love Miller over the weekend, we met 28 buyers at its first open for inspection, which is a large number of buyers even in a hot market. This property is marketed very well, covering all bases with the larger, more popular ads on the internet, larger ads in the NT News, and also invitations to our bar, buyer database. I predict for the next couple of months that we will see our buyers have a little bit more sense of urgency, trying to purchase a property, property so they will be in their new home before Christmas, which should result in better auction clearance rates and shorter days on the market as well. Jumping in the statistics for the months of September, the total number of sales increased in both the CBD and the surrounding suburbs. Looking at the total number of properties on the market, the supply decreased in both the CBD and the surrounding suburbs. This would be a result of a better, better buyer movement uh, that we've been seeing in, with a smaller number of listings coming onto the market for the month. A quick look at the rental market. The CBD shows slightly more supply, whereas the surrounding areas showed more demand than the month before. If the supply keeps declining, we'll start to see more demand for properties, uh, which is why I like to keep a close eye on these figures. If you have any questions regarding buying, preparing your home for sale, or anything in real estate, feel free to get in contact. I'll speak to you next month.